Good morning, John. It's Saturday. What on earth am I doing here on Sat? This isn't the thing. This, I'm throwing a wrench in the whole thing. I made a video yesterday about octopuses, and now I'm back. This isn't how it works. Except, of course, it is because John, I'm here to tell you that I, your brother, Hank Green, love you. Thanks for being a good brother. Because it is Esther Day. It is, in fact, the tenth Esther Day. If you can believe that, John. This is what you looked like when you were announcing the very first Esther Day. You were so young and beautiful, and that hair, you had to crop, you had to go down here. Your eyes, keep them down here so they could fit the hair in. John, I love you. I've always loved you. I've not always loved your hair. And I also love that for the last 10 years, we've taken a day of the year at the request of Esther, Earl, a nerd fighter, an awesome person, to tell the people that we love, we love them. Not our internet faves, not our crushes, but our friends and family who we want to always be there for, and who probably know that we love them, and maybe we just assume that they know, but that doesn't mean that they don't want to hear it, and that it isn't actually good to say it out loud sometimes. It's just really important, and like, after 10 years of doing it, I realize how important it is. I think, Sometimes that, like, tradition can get a bad rap because, of course, tradition comes from the old times, and the old times were bad. Like, mountains of cholera and irrational hatred bad. And yeah, because of that, some traditions that we hold on to and we sort of refuse to modify because we're sort of, like, tied to the idea of the tradition itself can be sort of counter to our values. And maybe I'm just getting old here, but I think that the existence of tradition is very good. Like, having a time every year to say thanks to your mom, even if it was created by a greeting card company, that's a good tradition. There have been times in my life when I've kind of coupled those two things together, like the idea of a particular exercise of a tradition and the idea of like the existence of tradition, like repeatedly doing things for a reason that you believe in. And I just sort of thrown them both out. Like I rebelled against the idea of tradition when I should have been rebelling against certain ways of experiencing certain traditions. Valentine's Day, for me personally, has always sort of seemed like a blah thing, the way that people do it. But I do like there being an opportunity for me to like write a card to Catherine, telling her that I love her and why, and why she's so great. But kind of because we don't like the traditional way of celebrating that tradition, we kind of don't at all. Whereas maybe we should, maybe we should find our own way of doing Let's it. Let's get a babysitter to just stay downstairs while we watch all of the Colin Firth Pride and Prejudice for the 85th time. What Esther did when she requested that we celebrate her birthday by celebrating familial love was genius. Because somehow there wasn't a day for that. That tradition didn't exist, but it like needed to. Maybe in the past it didn't need to. Maybe it did, but like it does. Because things are more true when we say them out loud and they're definitely more true when we hear them. John. I appreciate you so much. You're a good person and a hard worker and a great dad. I love you and I'm so glad that you're part of my life. I love working with you and I love working to make our relationship strong. And I would literally never say any of that if there wasn't a tradition, right? But now 10 years in, it is a tradition for me and it's normal for me. So to the people who aren't John, whether this is your first or your 10th, take some time, send a text, or an email, or a phone call, or a gosh darn letter. Tell those people who you think probably know it already that you love them. Because even if they know, they're gonna love hearing it. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.